Aaron, um, could you set us up? What's going on? How, what do we know about your character when, when, when the film begins? Well, he's uh, uh, a man who has recently moved to Europe, to uh, Brussels, Belgium, and he is living with his, uh, I think, 15-year-old daughter. Um, and they're just getting to know each other because they've been estranged for so many years because of his work. And so um, here's two people trying to get to know each other and get along in a small space. Um, and then something extraordinary happens and they have to go out on the run. They have to um, uh, run from danger and they, uh, this, the whole movie is about getting to know each other, these two people getting to know each other through extraordinary circumstances. Now it's a, it's a very tight, uh, taut action thriller with a lot of physicality. Can you, can you talk about uh, getting ready for this? Yeah, well, um, to prepare for it, I, 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 I had a, a French Special Forces um, gentleman named Olivier who trained uh, me in MMA and Jiu-Jitsu, and I really got in good shape for it and um, learned all the moves and that sort of thing. And, um, you know, I wanted this movie to be, for me to do all the action in the movie, to do all the fighting. And this is a great movie because it didn't rely on explosions and green screen and all that. Everything's practical in the movie. So everything you see in the movie, basically, except me going through some glass, is me doing it. Um, and that was very important to me. Um, and other than that, it's just kind of getting myself ready for fatherhood, you know, in terms of um, what it would be like to be with my 15-year-old daughter. Now, the guy, um, your character, Logan, has a, obviously, he has a, he's a CIA operative. Mm. And he has a he has a secret life that his daughter doesn't know about. Can you can you explain how that affects the relationship with the daughter and and how that makes him be for most of his life? Yeah, well, I mean, he was uh, like you said, he was a CIA CIA operative, um, uh, um, and a lot of these gentlemen and and, and ladies uh, can't tell their families who they are, what they do, where they're going. Um, and so you're basically, like you said, you have a, a, a secret past or a different life. And um, the movie takes place just after he's um, left the CIA um, and he's working for a firm over in Germany, or in, in Brussels. And um, uh, he gets mixed up with the wrong people. And uh, the kind of the key to this movie is that uh, because he worked for the CIA, he's got no records of his past. So, you know, not only does his daughter not who he, know who he is, but nobody else knows who he is. And he can't prove who he is. And so um, it's sort of... Uh, uh, a, a thriller. Um, you find a thriller that you know you discover everything about the character as you go along. How did you like? Um... <laughs> this doesn't make much sense. <laughs> but no, it doesn't matter. Fine. <laughs> uh, we'll cut around it. <laughs> how do you? Uh, how did you like shooting in in in, in uh, Belgium? I loved it. I wasn't sure about you know. Um, what the crews would be like and all that, but the crews were fantastic and shooting in the old train stations, these beautiful grand train stations and um, shooting in the streets with all the history of, of, of Brussels and, uh, you know, Europe has that sort of uh, the, the Cold War spy, you know, um, uh, flavor to it and so it was a lot of fun making a CIA thriller in Europe. Where does it fit in, in your filmography, this movie? It's number... Uh, 30-something, I think. Um, you know, it's great. Uh, it's a movie um, that I, I wanted to make I, because uh, I wanted, um, I love the father-daughter elements of the movie. I love shooting in Europe. So it'll go down as one of the special experiences in my life. What is the biggest surprise for the audience in this film? Or we don't want anyone well, to talk about Well, I don't know. I think the father-daughter relationship is the biggest surprise. And I don't know if it's a surprise, but I think it's the biggest reward, you know. Um, getting to know your daughter uh, for the first time sort of as an adult and having to go through all those machinations I think is a lot of fun for the audience.